Right, right. Um, hour after I uploaded the Highland Cottages, cottage, I did a bit more to it, which is not on the video. I, I darkened the water underneath the, the large mountain. I didn't do any detail, I just a heavier dry brush, a darker paint, um, because it would have been darker, although the water would be ruffled, wind ruffled. So I've got a, I'm back to my normal size, the Fabriano. Uh, 15 by 11 inches, 130 pounds, I, all from uh, Grantham's uh, discount, I just clean my palette. The, the paints I was using uh, should be still a little bit moist, which would be nice. So I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make up, I'm just doing all these mountain scenes and lakes and things, things that I like to paint and, and I know you do and it's, and if you practice you'll get better and better at it. Nobody stands still. But if you're a beginner, it all seems overwhelming and that you can't do it. But of course, none of us can do it to start with. We just, put, we just practice and practice and don't give up when we can't do it. Just carry on. Well, here's the palette. Uh, lemon yellow, dirty lemon yellow, raw sienna, filthy. Let's give that a little bit of clean. And I'll clean that lemon yellow too. Okay. So we've got lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson lights, red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. I'm tending to stay with these colours here, but with the exception of alizarin. I don't use a lot of alizarin, but it's a good, it's a good colour mixed with yellow to make sunsets and so on. But it's a very strong colour, like this red here. That's it's a very saturated colour and a little goes a long way, so beware of that. So I'm going to wet the paper all over with clean dish water and while that's wet I'll put in a, a raw sienna sky well all over actually it, it gives a bit of unity to the picture and because I'm putting water in underneath here I'm going to uh, it's going to reflect the sky somewhat so there we are now while that's wet get the raw sienna keep the hairs of the brush together good, good colour we can mix a bit of alizarin in with that, why not? Uh, just put it in. Keep it moist at this stage, because otherwise you'll get cauliflowers. Now while that's wet I'll use the ultramarine. I'll put a bit of neat ultramarine in there. And then we'll, with a light red mixed in with that, we'll put some cloud in. Right, I've not paid much attention to where the light's coming from in this. So, something like that. I'll uh, just Get a bit of a direction, the centre of the light in the middle, I think. A, a low, low light. A bit, a bit blue. Okay, so that's the background. That's that's the sky and half the foreground in. I dare say, at this stage, this is going to be another mountain and lake, but. They're great fun to do. I never get tired of looking at these sort of pictures. So let's put a bit of background. You're using sky colours, nice and dark, because this is where we're we're going into the background. So by the way down there, and then a bit of, bit of blue in the background here. Right, dry the, clean the brush, put in some lemon yellow. Very the colours, more. Coming all the way across. 
see, I think. They just happened. And then we've got... Uh, Now, while that, when that dries, I can put a bit of detail in it. So, we put a bit of, bit of bank in here. All the way across. Now that's breathing down into the water to give some sort of reflection. You need to paint very thickly when you're doing this, going over a wet wash, otherwise it won't stick. Good thing to know. Otherwise, it just bleeds into, into nothingness. Get that horizon a bit straighter there. So, um, I'll put in some bit of, bit of stuff on here. A bit of blue. Give this blue. Dark blue, anyway. Just on the slope there. So uh, this dry stone walls. Yeah, it's just something like that. And we can we can add some bit of dry stones with some trees going behind. Okay, that'll do for that. We'll put a bit of few rocks on, on the shore. But I mean, that a little goes a long way. Sure beats painting them. I don't want to detail in that. Lost it a bit there. It's bled. But I um, can't do anything with that. Right, so we'll put in um, a bit of a bluer bank across here. Paper. You no need to shrink your paper before and just let's just put that down. Keep that nice and tight there. And it bangs around a bit. Right, we can put in some some trees here just just Some trunks. That's it. <coughs> I will put the reflections in after, but that's that's bled a bit. That's okay. Right now we want some. I'll just try the off. Hold your ears. some darker green
in here, so I just want to put some darks in there. Well, and I can superimpose a, something against that. Right now, we want some beaches. Here, the pitch of water. You see, I'm putting some darks here because I want to etch out with the, the card. Okay, and I hope you can see what I do. And I'll put more the texture in that, and I'll put in some across here. I'll be using warmer colours in this foreground. Okay, let's put, give them a card. Now we want to put this into some nice rocks in here. Little ones going further off here on this sort of beach. I bet they dry a bit too quick, or too, uh, too too dry. Oh, well, that's a. Uh, right, okay, that'll do. I'll dry that off. With the dark, I'll, I'll go in with some some trees, trunks, some fine trunks. It's blue and uh, burnt umber there. I feel we love this coming up here. See how easy that is. But it's only an impression. We're not trying to paint a photograph here. We're trying to create an impression of light and space and suggested detail. And I'll, I'll anchor that with a bit of dark. Etch out with our finger some of this, and get the rigger. Oh, I can it. Uh, before I do, I'm going to put in some some foliage on on that. So winter sort of 
Crazy. All I need to do on that, perhaps a bit darker, ultramarine and umber, just get that nice and dark in there. Right, okay, let that go. Now I'm going to, while that's drying, because I'm going to put some twigs and branches in there, um, I want to put in some detail in that foreground. That's got a bit, bit of right there. I don't mind. Got a bit of reflection in there. So with a with the inch brush, go number a bit blue. We'll put a bit of a oops. Just a bit of a bit of a fence there. All right, it's okay. So we've got our bit of reflection going in there. And a bit of that. Oh, I'm gonna put a bit of a landing stage in. bit of dark un under underneath some of these on one side right okay right, I'll dry that off and I'll do this reflection a bit going to leave that I'm going to dry dry brush that with a bit of a bit of that that's a bit of this brown and blue let's get that in there that'll be my reflection there's not just the shine as ripples now I'll put in a bit of darker green Just to show Okay, look at that dry, then I'm going to lift out some some lines on that right. Take your headphones off.
pick some flourishes for tissue. Get the my, my damp brush. Now I need to take out some of some of that there. Right, that'll show something going on there. Let's just lift out some of that. Okay, not too much, so let's just take out that. That looks, well hopefully, it's, it's just showing a bit of wind ruffle, ruffling. Okay, we'll let that go. Right, so I've got to do some stuff in there now. I'm going to find a rigger. I don't know if I mentioned I'm having a, a friend is uh, putting in a new shower door. The other one gave up after 30 odd years. Lots of twiggy stuff in these. I base my uh, these trees on my Mitchum Common series. The uh, Seven Islands, which in common. I haven't been there for a while. I need to, to get some more photographs for autumn or winter. Otherwise I'm forever making stuff up. Hopefully, I'm, well, if the weather's away, tomorrow, I'm going to our old men behaving badly on bikes. Bike ride tomorrow, to be along the Wandle, on my river. Well, sort of river. Just put a few ripples in here and there. Okay, uh, a bit wrong there. But I can't do much better than that. Right, put a bird. Put a signature. And I'll put a mount on it. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Okay. Um, do I want a yacht in there? Yeah, it all helps, doesn't it? All adds to the uh, to the mix. Let's, that, that's nice and light there. Let's just get something out there. Well, right, okay, I'm going to let that go. Let's uh, stick it there and I'll put the mount on it. The mount for the one that I did previous to this is on a piece of paper 22 inches by 15 and it didn't quite fit. I don't know why. Probably because I was using a, um, a uh, metric size paper for it. Well, there we are. So, so there we are, another. Boats on a lake, yachts on a lake, 
Do we need to put a little bit of holland in here? Alright. Can't do any more than that. I hope you enjoyed that. I've got my birds in, I've got my signature, I've got twigs in here, distance and rain scoring over here, and maybe slightly clearing here. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll zoom you in. Alright, let's have a look at that. Oops, try to get straight there, that's a bit better. Right, there we are. Let's go and have a look around the picture. So there are the bows, the yachts, against the dark background. You see, counter change, light against dark. Got my, my skimpy trees there. There's not a lot of soil there growing in. And there's my mountain, but I sort of got a bit lost there in this bit here. But anyway, you can see the creamy colour of the Rosiana showing through in the sky. And I've put some detail on, on that right hand hill here, which could be pasture, um, sheep, just, just something as interesting. Here we're going right back into the distance and we'll see a lot of detail there. I'll zoom out again and then you can have a little look at that. So I'll think of a title for that one. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.